What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at a new tactic called the single bishop mate. Now this is interesting because basically you're checkmating with just your bishop and sometimes the king is involved. Actually most of the time the king's involved as well. But this is interesting because if you check like this position, uh, if you just have a king and a bishop against even just a lone king, you can't get checkmate. It's not possible, right? The best you could do would be this position, which is a stalemate if it's Black's turn, right? So um, the fact that there are other pieces on the board though can change that and we can get some really interesting checkmates with just the bishop. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you five positions, and some of these are just crazy. Like the last two, I, I just couldn't believe. But um, I'm going to be giving you guys a chance to pause the video, try to figure them out yourself, and even though you kind of know what the end goal is, right, like checkmate with the bishop, these are not easy problems at all. So I think they're going to be a challenge uh, to everybody. And so, yeah, we're going to go through that now, and we're going to start with this one. All right, so this first position was actually from the 18th century. Back in like 1750, there was an Italian chess master who gave this to his students as an exercise. So I invite you to pause the video and figure out what should white play here and how can you get checkmate eventually, uh, like I mentioned, with your bishop. But what do you think the move is? Go ahead and pause and we'll talk about it in just a second. All right, if you had a chance to analyze, let's go ahead and talk about the solution. So the move that you should play is actually knight to e6 check. Now, real briefly, I do want to mention, if you played queen f6 check, a lot of times bringing the queen close to the king is a good idea. But in this case, the king can just go back, and you don't really have a follow-up. Like, you, you can try to threaten checkmate with your knight, but then it's just going to get captured, and you don't really have anything. So that's why queen f6 does not work. Uh, but knight to e6 check is the move. Now, first of all, the king only has these two options, okay? Because the queen is covering these, bishop's covering here. So if the king goes back, well, then you just slide the queen over here and you're getting a back rank checkmate. Queen has to block, you just take, okay? So that's pretty straightforward. And then also, if black tries to take this knight with the pawn, well, then you've got checkmate immediately uh, with queen to f8, okay? So the only real move that makes sense for black is queen takes e6. And now, uh, this was kind of the tricky move that you had to find. So if you didn't find it before and you want to pause again and look at this position, what should white play now? And if you had a chance to do that, here we go. The move is queen to h6 check. So it's an amazing queen sacrifice. Of course, if black goes back, well, then the queen comes into f8 and it's mate. So they have to accept it. And now you have this amazing move, bishop to f8 checkmate. And so we've got the king stopping here, and obviously the pawns are helping us as well, but uh, that's a pretty nice looking mate. So that's kind of the idea, uh, you know, somehow the king gets trapped. A lot of times some of the own, his own pieces are involved, and then the bishop delivers the mate. So if you found that, congratulations. Let's go ahead and look at number two. All right, so here's the next position. This was actually a game that Bobby Fischer played out of a simul, so he was playing a whole bunch of people at the same time, and he was white. It's white to play and win. What do you think Fischer played in this position? Well, if you had a chance to look at this, there's actually multiple moves in this one that would be okay. Uh, Fischer played knight to d5, so sacrificing the knight. You could actually have moved this knight to some other places as well, but the idea is that after the bishop takes, uh, you can't go here because of the knight, obviously, but what you can do is just bring the bishop over here, threatening to go to f6, and there's no way for any of black pieces to stop you, and obviously the king is stuck in the corner. And so next move, regardless of what black does, bishop f6 is coming to deliver the mate. So pretty nice. Uh, that one was, I would say, a little bit easier than some of the other ones we're going to see, but um, I thought it was cool that Bobby Fischer actually played um a game that had this this you know single bishop mate in a simul so there we go let's go ahead and jump over to number three all right so this next position was from a real game from 1825 and the interesting thing about this game was it was from what was called pawns game it was a special variant that they played in france where at the start of the game you would replace one of your pieces so like your queen or your rook or something with a certain number of pawns and so the one player would be down a piece but then have a bunch of extra pawns and then you would just play regular chess from there and so i didn't see the start of this game i only have this position but i imagine from the way that it looks with you know black having all these pawns that they're kind of pushing forward i imagine the black you know traded maybe their queen uh for like a bunch of pawns and that's kind of what happened here obviously white didn't trade the queen because they they have it but um, that, that's my guess. So kind of interesting version of chess. I never heard of that before, but 
Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. But anyway, we get this position. Uh, it's white to play. And if you'd like to pause and figure out what the move is, you, you know the, the theme, right? You know the end goal. Somehow you have to checkmate with this bishop. But how do you do that? So go ahead and pause. Take a minute. See if you can figure that out. All right, if you had a chance to look, the move is knight takes h6 check. So this is really forcing black to make a decision, either move the king over or capture the knight. Let's go ahead and start with if they move the king over, what we can do. There's actually this one, knight to f6, or sorry, knight to f7 check. The king comes over. You can sacrifice the queen. King takes. Bishop can come in. Okay, so this is covered. This is covered by the knight. It's covered by the pawn. King has to go back. And then you get this amazing bishop and knight checkmate. And then the king is kind of helping out. So that's pretty cool right there. Uh, but then, you know, let's go back to sort of the main line, if you will. Um, instead of moving the king, they actually just take her knight. Okay. So um, the move now, if you didn't find it before, uh, you can pause again here. Uh, it's still a little bit tricky to find. So maybe this is a little bit easier. But go ahead, pause. And if you haven't already solved it, take a minute. And if you're ready to see the answer, the move is the amazing queen to h8 check. It looks like, what are we even doing? Just giving up our queen. Yeah, we have a check, but then the king can just come out. Like, why would we do that? Well, it's because we're not going check. We're going king to f7. This is kind of the key move that you had to see, which is probably the difficult move to find. Blocking the king, trapping the king in the corner. And despite the fact that black has so many pieces, they can even get a queen on the next move. It doesn't matter because we've got this threat. We're going to checkmate. And the only thing black can do to, to delay it would be rook to f8 check. But we just take that and we still have the king trapped. We still have the threat. And this is the wrong color bishop. This rook can't get there and the pawns are too late. You can get a queen. Doesn't matter. Checkmate with the bishop. Amazing stuff, right? Like this is, this is pretty cool. So uh, the king was in a mating net. All you needed was the bishop, and it just worked out that none of Black's pieces uh, were able to do anything. There was actually too many pawns kind of blocking this rook from, from helping, and, and the queen was, was too late. So really nice. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I like this one. But now let's go ahead and jump to the next one. All right, so this next one is actually a composed puzzle from 1895. So this was not from a real game, but rather the, the author just set these pieces up this way. And uh, so this is probably a little bit more difficult, but you do know the theme. And so that should help you at least give you a clue on how to get started. So go ahead, pause if you want. Try to think through this one and then we'll walk through it. All right. Well, if you've had a chance to analyze that, here we go. The move that wins for white is actually bishop to h6 check. And if you thought, well, what about if I take this? It doesn't really help you because the king can just go here and take your pawn. And now you're, you're not going to be able to win. So that's why that doesn't work. Uh, so bishop h6 check. Uh, the king has two options. Of course, it doesn't want to go this way because we simply take the pawn and get a queen, and that's fairly straightforward. So king has to go here so that if we take, then the king would just take us. So the move that we play now is g7. And you probably, if you were thinking about this, thought, okay, well, if we do that, the king's just going to come to f7, and I don't really see... Like, how are we going to make progress? Because the king is now stopping us from coming in, right? So, uh, again, if you'd like to pause, what's the move that we play here um, as white? And if you had a chance to analyze that, there's only one move that wins for white, and it's the amazing g8 queen, sacrificing the queen because the king can just take it. And now we have a really nice follow-up move. Again, I'll give you a chance to pause Think through what can we play here? Keep in mind what the end goal is and how can we accomplish that? All right, and if you're ready, uh, the move is king to e6. So this is crucial because now we've got the king trapped where it can't escape, right? Can't go to any of these squares. But more importantly, this is also like a zugzwang position where black has to make a move that they don't want to make. But black would, does not want to move their king to the corner, right? But guess what? We've got both pawns blockaded. So the king has to go to the corner. And now we can follow up with king to f7, threatening checkmate. And normally, if you do something like this where the king is just stuck, it would be a stalemate. But in this case, we just stepped out of the way. And guess what? Black's got this pawn that they can move, which is perfect for us. Doesn't really matter what they do. Next move, we've got the checkmate. I mean, that's just amazing to me. Like when I saw this one, I was like, wow, that's that's pretty cool, right? So you sacrifice the queen, you get the zook swing, you know, the pawn has to move, the king had to go to the guard, just so many cool things. And then you end up with the, the single bishop checkmate. So 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And now it's time for the last position. This one was my favorite. Here we go. All right, so here's the last position. And again, this was another composed problem, but it's white to play and win. And this is probably one of the more difficult ones, I would say. Um, but you do know, you know, the end goal, right? So keep that in mind. You know what the theme is. Uh, but go ahead, take a moment, see if you can figure out what should white play here to win. All right, if you've had a chance to analyze that, the only move that white can play, there's only one good move in this position, and it is bishop to c7. So uh, at first glance, it's kind of like, you know, what, what are we even doing with this move? Like, are we even threatening anything, right? Like, it, it almost doesn't make sense. So let's talk about that first. Let's just say black plays some sort of random move that doesn't look like it does anything. C4. What are we going to do? Like, why did we move our bishop here in the first place, right? king to h2 okay so this is the point we didn't want to let the king go to g3 because we wanted to move our king to h2 why because now we're threatening g3 which is going to lead to checkmate right so for example if black just takes we play g3 tax the king and after the queen takes bishop comes in delivers the mate okay so that's our threat that's what we would like to do uh but of course uh let's back up for a second Black didn't have to do that, right? This is just, I was just showing you what the threat was. That's why we played bishop c7. But black didn't have to do that. The more obvious move is like, well, what if they just take our knight? Uh, now what are we going to do? Well, king to h2. Okay, same move. And this is uh, why I like this one so much. Let's just look at this position for a moment. Black has a queen. We only have a bishop. Uh, the queen is like right by our king. But we can hardly move much. This is pinned. Um... Black's king almost looks pretty well defended, right? And yet, I want you to ask this question. What move can black safely play in this position? Well, let's just think through. Can the king move anywhere? Nope. No moves for the king. Okay, what about this pawn? Well, then we've got uh, checkmate with our bishop, right? Single bishop checkmate. The queen could block, but we just take it. Game over. Okay, so that doesn't really make sense. What about this pawn? Well, we're just going to take it, and black still has to make a move. All right, so that doesn't really make sense. Okay, the queen, where can the queen move? Well, let's check uh, the checks. No, nope, we'll take it. We'll take it and it's checkmate. Okay, here. Hmm, that's one we'll have to come back to because it looks like if we take take, we're probably maybe gonna get a draw, maybe gonna lose. Okay, so we'll come back to queen f4. Um, what if the queen moves anywhere along this rank? What are we gonna do? Checkmate with the bishop, right? So this is an, an important Part about this puzzle this queen has to guard the square which means it has to stay on this diagonal or move somewhere else that covers the square right because if it moves anywhere here game over okay so that's pretty interesting the other interesting point is let's say it went here to stay on the diagonal right well then it's no longer pinning our pawn and guess what we push the pawn up and we force this checkmate okay so hopefully you're starting to see what's going on here Black would like to be able to move the queen somewhere. The problem is you have to keep the pin on the pawn. You also have to keep the diagonal and and you have to make a move because it's Black's turn. Black can't just pass, right? So again, we get another sort of zugzwang position. Uh, and I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but the point is it's a, it's a situation where Black has to move even though they don't want to. They're forced to make a bad move. So the only move that Black could really try that makes any kind of sense would be queen to f4 check because now like we take they take and it looks like okay i don't know what we're going to do so what's the move we play here if you want to pause this one's not too difficult but i'll give you a chance anyway what should white play and the amazing move is g3 so uh, we get sort of the same position that we looked at except in a different way it forces the queen to capture bishop comes down uh and that is game over amazing stuff like I, when i was looking at this position because at first glance it's like wait a second shouldn't shouldn't black have like some move they can do with their queen i mean queen's a very powerful piece all we have is a bishop and some pawns like what, what's going on here and it just there's no where the queen can move that's any good so um yeah I, I just really enjoy these i hope you guys uh did too and had some fun trying to solve them um yeah if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more make sure to leave me a comment let me know but uh as always thanks for watching stay sharp Play smart and take care.